All right, so I went and threw these. I know my video setup isn't the best. I'm just holding my phone, which is kind of ridiculous, but I don't have a stand or anything. I'm just using my phone, so. Um, maybe if these reviews get a little more traction, um, I'll end up buying better equipment. But here's my board. Me and my buddy actually made these. Um, so we just stained them. So I just wanted to show the... The speed of these bags when you like lift the board so this is gonna be kind of hard to do but oh so what I normally do is just like this is the fast side over here down slow side down obviously anyone that's seen these bags know so this will just show this like the speed of these so I just lifting the board up a little bit you can see that go so they're fairly quick the slow side Sorry about that, set this down. The slow side actually grabs pretty good. Um, slow side grabs pretty good. Fast side is actually pretty good. And they are pretty hole friendly. I mean, for right out of the box, these things were great. It's been a few days. I threw them that day, I did the first part of the review. And uh, I kind of forgot to finish up, but. I thought they were really hole friendly both sides. Like I threw, I tried to throw a few blockers. I should have just set the bag down in front and then uh, just thrown a couple, like tried to do some roll shots or something just to mess around and see. They did okay, they, they did roll and I'm sure they will a little better. I'm not the most skilled at that shot, but what I found throwing those is like the less I spin the bag and the more like, or if I throw it hard and put nose down, um, they'll actually grab and flip a little better and that's with any bag though like if I throw if there's a good blocker and I throw a bag that isn't too fast and I throw it with the nose down and like hard like kind of coming in really flat it'll like everyone you guys probably anyone who's thrown much knows that like it'll hit that bag and like flip over but that's not like a true roll bag I guess is I don't know I hope that's the term but yeah, those carpet ones just kind of grab and flip over. If you throw a really good flat bag. I remember watching this dude um, a couple months ago. I had barely started playing any tournaments. And he was from Wyoming. His name's Clint McJunkin. He's like 100. Top 100 he was on Scorholio. And he threw a mean bag. Like He was throwing those Reynolds. I think they were pro advantage. And his bag just sounded so much different than everyone else's. Because it landed so flat. And the boards were like... He was throwing that carpet side and it was hitting so hard and grabbing the board would jump like you could see the board jumping off the ground because it was like grabbing and like there was so much force it was so cool to watch so i was like damn this is kind of a fun way like it'd be cool to be able to throw that but anyways those deadheads um they're actually really really solid filling bags um i'm kind of curious on the longevity because that slick side of the the material feels a little wouldn't say like thin but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like um it doesn't feel like it's gonna last a very long time it feels it feel like i said in the last one it feels kind of like a really thick paper and like i think if you hit any kind of snags it's gonna rip that material but i might be wrong like i i haven't had them long enough but like Looking at my all sides, they, the fast side of these feels more like a like a material than the the buffalo ones. They feel a little, they, I wouldn't say cheap, but like they feel a little a little less. They do feel a little cheaper, but I wouldn't say cheap um, compared to like the all sides fast side or they're fast as hell, and they don't feel like they're a thin like. Man, I don't want to say paper because that sounds ridiculous, but it does feel a little a little bit like a really thick paper. And and, and saying that, you might think I'm not going to buy these, but they these bags feel amazing. Um, they feel great out of the box. They are definitely hole friendly. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna condition these maybe like for like an hour just to see on both sides and just see if they get a little looser um, and go from there. But man, they feel like really good bags. They were easy to throw, even right out of the box when they box, they felt a little, 
I would say a little tiny bit floppy, like I said before. Floppier than like a normal bag, even like a game changer, like that comes, like these ones I won from that tournament. These feel even stiffer. These feel stiffer than those deadheads. So out of the box, they actually feel like, and I threw, I threw quite a bit, like on the fast side, if they got near the hole, they were going in and, and my boards aren't the fastest in the world, but they're like a good, they're a good speed and they're just going in, man. Um, so yeah, if you guys are, I would say if you really want some deadheads, grab some, they feel like a really, really good solid bag. Um, 110 bucks plus shipping. So I think I paid like, I think I paid 120 123 I want to say with shipping for one set, but I think I'm gonna keep these my setup I think I'm gonna have is like I'm gonna use my deadheads right now most of the time um, I got some vipers coming. I just ordered from ultra I, I paid the the high price when they released on Monday the gray and blue and Those and I really like throwing all sides so that and, and you know that set of game changes is basically an all side with a patch on the back same same bag same fast side um, but that's all I really want to throw for now. I like, I see people buying like tons of sets and I have like eight sets now, which is kind of ridiculous, but, but so far, man, like for the money, I don't see how you could ever go wrong with an all side. If you like a bag, that's like kind of fast, but these deadheads feel like they are going to be a really solid, a really solid bag with a, like a slower side than the all slides, which I love because I want to throw a blocker. Um, and the fast side feels like it's going to be really hole friendly. So depending on who I'm playing, you know, if I'm playing against someone that just goes for the hole, um, and throws kind of a fast bag, I really like throwing blockers against those people. Cause for some reason they miss the board a lot when you do that. Like most people get way too aggressive and I think this bag will be beautiful for that. Like, um, even just to get a couple points around against someone is awesome but if you're throwing like a really like what i do is i'll try to throw some blockers just to get some bags on the board and these these are going to be great because that sticky side is i mean i can throw it pretty hard and it was staying up <laughs> even when it got near the hole it was still flopping in pretty good so they feel great like get a set if you want some um if you don't i mean there's facebook pages and stuff that like people are going to buy them off you for what you paid for them so give them a try man buffalo boards is their bags are amazing, and I really want to get a set of their boards too, but yeah, I definitely recommend the Deadheads, um, absolutely. They feel like, I would, out of the box, I would say like eight and a half, nine out of ten, if I was going to rate this bag, especially if you want like a fast side and a, a medium slow side that isn't a carpet, it's a great bag. Anyways, leave a comment, um, once I get those Vipers, I've never really owned Vipers, I've thrown them, but I'm going to do a... I'm gonna do a video of those too, and those look beautiful. So everyone loves the Vipers. They sold out in like two freaking minutes yesterday. So, anyways, have a good day, guys. Uh, let me know any comments if anything you want me to like talk about differently when it comes to the bags or anything. Cause I want to do some more reviews, um, just to get more info out. I've only seen like two guys do reviews, so. Even if my opinion sucks, you might get one thing out of it. I mean, that's good enough for me. And I like throwing. It's, it gives me an excuse to, like, throw in by bags. So, all right. Have a good one. Out.